In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Let's go. Before we start, uh, this is inspired by Paul Oviedo. He asked me, this is a two-year-old video, but I got to try and ask, how do you insert a photo behind a window with blinds or shades? Which was commented on my video, how to Photoshop something in your picture easy in GIMP. I'll link this video at the end of this video. So Paul, like I said, I'm going to make a video for you and this is it. This is the image that we're going to start with. This is what we're going to end up with and I'm going to show you how. And in case you don't have GIMP just yet, just go to GIMP.org, download the version 2.10.28 and you will be able to follow along with this video and make awesome content because this is basically your free version of Photoshop. Right, so back to the image. Most important thing to do is make sure you have an alpha channel. So right click on the image, add alpha channel. This is grayed out with me because I've already done that. And now we need to take the first steps in order for us to create the final image. I'm going to use uh, this little tool right here. It's the path tool. I'm going to select it and I'm going to zoom in by holding my control and scrolling away from me towards you is zooming out. So away from me. And now what I want to do is I want to mask out all the windows and we have some curtains over here but the principle is the same with the blinds because you could just go between let's say you have a little blind like this you can go between that as well so let me show you what to do right now we're going to click inside the image i'm going to click outside i'm going to make sure that it's nice and tight like this i'm going to click in here then i'm going to move up and to here and I want it to be very precise and now I need to close this and you can close this by holding control and then selecting the first key that you've made and now we've got a closed square and you might know what happens next because we have to do that for every single window so I'm going to make sure that I do the same thing here I'm going to close it again by holding control and I'm going to go around all these windows. I'm not going to show you that because that will take way too long, but I'll be right back in a minute. And by the way, for the flower part, it's a very tedious process. You need to make sure that you select the right things and that it still looks natural. So these are all the points that I'm going to make within the flower because I don't just want to cut it off like that. So that's the problem with this image. It's better to not have something as tedious as this, but we have to work with what we've got. So that's what I'm going to do. And now that I've made a mask around all the windows and including the flower and the parts in between of the leaves, which is very important because these are nice details. I've now selected everything. And if you hit enter, the mask will be active and you'll see these moving on. So what we need to do right now is hit delete. And then this is what you should see. If you don't see this, it's probably because you didn't add an alpha channel, but this is what you should see. Now that everything is deleted, we're done with this. So uh, what I like to do is I like to click this move tool and then go to select none, which is very important to go to select none. Otherwise the next step won't work. So now we need to add in our new backdrop. And because I want you to be able to follow along, you can go to pexels.com find the horizon beach and then this is the image that i've picked and the reason for that is because it matches with this color scheme right here and that makes it way easier to edit otherwise you'd have to edit the colors in here and the white balance and that's just a lot of work so let me add this image right here and the easiest way is to go to your folder where the image is stored and then just drag it to gimp give it a couple of seconds and then this message appears, I'm going to click keep. So I'm going to keep the color scheme of the image. And here we have the image. Now the image is bigger than the canvas that we're working with. And because I want to use this part as well, I'm going to show you a little trick. So first, what I want to do is I want to use the path tool again, make sure you select this area. And I'm just going to almost divide the image. There you go. It doesn't have to be very precise. I'm going to close that one. I'm going to hit enter and we're going to edit and we're going to copy and then we're going to edit, paste as new layer, which means that we now have this as a layer. I'm going to go to select none, the move tool again to make sure I don't see the path. Right. So here's the fun part. I'm going to drag this layer beneath this layer and I'm going to deselect this layer. 
And then this is what we see. But here's the catch. It doesn't add up because we have the sun over here. And that's an important part when you're using Photoshop. You need to make sure that it adds up because the light is coming from the right side onto these cabinets over here. But we have it here on the left side. So I just want to drag this over here. And maybe you'll now know I'm going to make it like this, like we have a beach house. And now you might know why I've added this as well, because we need to fill in this gap. I'm going to flip this layer. So I'm going to select this layer. I'm going to flip it with the flip tool. I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to make sure that I drag it beneath this layer. And now I'm just going to drag it over here. And here's the fun part. You can, you can do whatever. I mean, you can do it like this, but that just doesn't look very natural. And I wanted it to be like this. Because we don't have a straight horizon, but that's okay because the sea can just continue behind these rocks. So then this is the first place. If you don't really like how this looks because of the way the water is going or whatever, you can always just rotate the image a little bit by using the rotate tool and then just make it a little bit the same. Rotate. There you go. And that already looks a lot better. So now what we've done is we've changed this image like a city condo or whatever you want to call it, holiday home. And we change it to a beach side house. And that looks so much better. And this is the answer to your question. How would you keep the blinds and the picture behind it? And how do you insert a photo behind a window with blinds and shades? I hope you all like it. See you next time. Do it.